All right, let's get right into this. Let's talk about HGIG. High Dynamic Range Gaming Interest Group. Uh, so let's dive right into it, shall we? We're going to use Forza Horizon 4 because Forza Horizon 4 supports HGIG. And I'm going to show you the differences so that way you can see for yourself is it something that you should utilize or not. So let's go. So where do you find HDR Gaming Interest Group? Well, it's under a picture mode settings in that department. And then you scroll down with all your picture presets and hit advanced controls. That's yet another department you have to click on. And when you click on advanced controls, you're going to see dynamic tone mapping. And dyna dynamic tone mapping has obviously the option for you to brighten up that HDR picture. And in this case, there's another group or another company that it's also utilizing their own uh, software that utilizes the HDR for video games in a certain way. Um, does it help? Does it work well on certain games that support it? Uh, for example, Forza Horizon 4 supports a GIG and uh, I'm going to try to bring my camera a little bit closer. Uh, we're going to do that one example here. Uh, we'll keep the car over here, the LAPD car. And um, I'm going to try to utilize my exposure here a little bit better. And I'll bring my camera as close as I can here. All right, for this demo. I'm going to bring it as close as I can. So... Currently, HGIG is turned on. I'm going to keep it like this. It is turned on. And we're going to go ahead and turn on dynamic tone mapping just to show you the difference. Now, dynamic, dynamic tone mapping, it brightens up the picture. But it also loses the shadow detail. And I think this is what... Uh, Vincent Tio was talking about you see like you, you lose a little bit of that shadow detail on a black and white car this is why I'm using LAPD because black and white is perfect to to check the uh, the shadow detail and look when I move it to HGIG you get much better redefined shadow detail now it looks more natural right and look at the shadow detail right here uh, on the hood. So let's go switch to dynamic tone mapping and turn it on. You see, it brightens it up, but everything looks like as if there's a fog. Like here, like right here in the background, it looks like there's a thick fog. And when I turn to HGIG, it looks more redefined. So I totally understand why Vincent Tio. So my apologies to Vincent Tio, but to be honest, Vincent. It works well on certain games. Some games, they're not utilizing it really well. Uh, but Forza Horizon 4 seems to be utilizing it really well. You know. So, HGIG, HDR Gaming Interest Group. Uh, it works well on Forza Horizon 4. And we're gonna go up over here to a um, to more light, like right here, so you can see the the detail on the uh, the car, the reflection on the car here. Let's switch to uh, HGIG and let's turn it off, and you'll see how much you're gonna lose when we turn off the HGIG. You see, now it's totally uh, dark and, and, and dimmed. Now when you turn it on. You see, like right up here, you can see the difference. Right. Look up where my finger is on the sky. When you turn it off, and then when you turn it on. See? But it does it in a really nice way. Um, 
And then when you turn on the dynamic tone mapping, look what happened. It brightens it up. So HGIG works well on a certain games, but to be honest, it is overrated because a lot of people have been bugging me about uh, HGIG and, uh, you know, there's another game that supports it. Uh, it's a Dirt 5. I, we can go up to the Dirt 5 really quick. We have a quick resume. We'll do that. There's a, a Dirt 5. We're going to jump right into it uh, really quick. Cause I'm pressed for time today. I'm a busy guy. Believe me, believe me, guys. I'm very busy. Even me making this video, it's like a short notice. All right, so we're gonna pause it uh, and take a photo. We'll do a photo here. Uh, we'll take a photo mode. We'll keep it like this. Just kind of showcase uh, certain things here. Um, let's leave it like this. So HGIG. You see right here, when you turn on the uh, dynamic tone mapping, you see a lot of uh, bright detail and uh, you also lose the shadow detail and I think that's exactly what um, Vincent Tia was trying to point out like you really lose the shadow detail when you turn on yes it's gonna here's the thing dynamic tone mapping will brighten up that HDR I'm not saying that it won't but at the same time it's gonna sacrifice the shadow detail what is the shadow detail shadow detail is your black level you know and you don't want your black level to look like there's some kind of a smoke uh like a fog going over it and look what happens when we uh turn the hgig on it becomes more redefined and it looks better like look at the shadows here how they are redefined and look what happens when we turn the uh, dynamic tone mapping it brightens that up and that's not good then you lose the shadow detail. Now you got much better shadows right here. And clearly I think you guys can see that. But it all depends on the video game. You know, some video games utilize HGIG better than others. And some they don't. You know, but is HGI, HGIG uh, a big deal? Well, I don't know. I mean, it depends on who you ask. Uh, I want to see HGIG support more games. Right now, there's like a handful of games that support HGIG, including Call of Duty. Uh, but they need more of uh, support. Once they start rolling out hundreds and hundreds of games that support HGIG, and they're, you know, implementing it much, much better, then I can maybe start recommending HGIG. So... Well, there you have it, guys. That's my take on HGIG, HDR, Gaming Interest Group, and that's how I feel. <laughs> that's my opinion. All right, guys. I'll catch you later.